going to be hiding a bit today to talk about some of the problems that students seem to have some trouble with from the review quizzes, of course, in preparation of the module five second test. Let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Looks as if one of our classes had five students get this correct and 18 students get this incorrect. So what's happening? What are we talking about? We're being asked to find which of these four points is a solution. So let's take a gander. Zero six is here, which although this looks as if it could work as a solution, what kind of line do we see here? So this is a little conflicting because 06 looks as if it's on this line and could be a solution, but since it's a dashed line, again, this is a dashed line, this is not a solution. And again, we're looking for the point that is a solution. All right, so let's keep it going. We have negative three, five, which I will put a heart on. Negative three, five is here. Unfortunately, this is not a solution to the system because it is only in this red shaded area. If you can see that, the X'd out or, yeah, sorry. So it's only in this portion here. It's not in both. So that's why this is not a good option. Let's look at one zero. One zero is on this line, which is solid. It's in this shaded region two. So this is it. If you're not convinced, let's even look at negative four comma three. Negative four is here, three is here. This is slightly below the dashed line, but it's not in this other portion. So that's why this is no good, no bueno. Capiche, sound good? Let's keep it going. We're solving for X and Y. I know that these two equations are both equal to what? What are these equations both equal to? Both equal to y and y equals y. So we could say that the one equation, two thirds x minus two equals negative x plus trace, capiche? So since we have two sides of the equation to focus on, we should be thinking that our x terms go on one side, our constants go to the other. Um, you have some options here. Since three is a positive number and this two is negative, I'm gonna move my constants to the right. So that means adding two here and here. And since I'm doing that, that means I would wanna move X's to the left, to the left. Everything you want in a X variable to the left. Uh, these two's eliminated, these X's eliminated, this equals five. You have two ways you could take it from here. If you want to get fancy and use the reciprocal, that's pretty damn darn crafty. Taking five times three fifths. Eventually the threes cancel, fives cancel. You're left with X equals five over one, multiplying with three fifths where your fives can cancel. So X is three. You can throw this back in and solve for y. y equals negative 3 plus 3, which is just negative 3 plus 3, which is just 0. So you could look for the point that says x is 3, y is 0. This is your best option here. So that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work. Capiche? Sound good? Pause the video if you need it. Same song and dance, software X and Y. These are both set equal to Y. So have the equations set equal to each other. You just did this. The previous uh, problem was a little bit more challenging, but it's all good. X terms, I'm gonna throw the X's to the right, constants to the left. This cancels, this is now equal to two. This is equal to two X. Dividing both sides by two x equals one, 
uh, we're able to just say that this is our answer. We could plug back in to get that Y is three, but once you know X, hopefully you know how to get Y. Perfect number of solutions. So let's do a quick refresher. If we have one solution to our system, that means that we have different slopes. And also different y intercepts. Since this slope here is negative one third, and this slope for the second equation is two thirds, calling this M2 because this is the second slope. Um, we know that the slopes are different, which is a good thing. So we know that there's only one solution. This is actually asking for the solution. So it's definitely not infinitely many solutions. So there's only one of these that'll work. They're both set equal to Y, set them equal to Y, shoot them down. I'm gonna move this negative one third to the right because I don't really like keeping negative terms around for too long. It means I'm gonna move this one to the left. This canceled, four minus one is three, two thirds plus one thirds is just X. And then this canceled. So X is three, plug it back in, solve for Y. Looks as if we didn't take very long to try this one too, which is a shame. So we're saying Y equals two thirds times three plus one, threes cancel y equals two plus one, so y is three. And then x is three. So this is your best option. Capiche, sound good? Same song and dance, point that's not a solution to the system. You have zero, negative one, which is here, which is on a dashed line. So we're actually able to say that one's probably it. Well, let's even entertain it further. Um, zero three is definitely on the blue line, but it's also in the red. So this is a solution. Four zero is below the blue line and above the red line. So four zero is a solution. Six negative two is the same thing, but zero negative one is not a solution. And that's what you should have picked here. Capiche, sound good. Notice how I actually marked up the graph. Don't be afraid of doing that. Getting our intercepts here for a standard form equation. Take your time on this. So we know that and I'll break this up in a part. So if we're getting our x-intercept, this is gonna occur when our y-coordinate is zero. This is guaranteed when that we get our x-intercepts, the y-coordinate is zero. So if we plug in, instead of y, we want zero, keep the rest of the equation the same. So really just solving two x equals six, Divide both sides by two. This is now saying that we have an x-intercept of three. So if we want the y-intercept, we're saying that our x-coordinate is zero and we solve for what y is. So now two times zero plus y equals six. It's pretty much zero plus y equals six, eventually just y equals six. So lo and behold, we have two points. Not to be confused with this first one, even though the numbers are similar, the locations are different, so that's no good. This is no good because they're negative. This is our best bet right here. Capiche, sound good. Big deal to map out these two. Uh, I'm going to skip that one. X-intercept of this line's 
pretty simple. We see that we have this point here on our x axis, and this is negative one comma zero. So you should have said this. There you go. Uh, I hope that this video is helpful. I think that, yeah, this problem was seen twice, which is okay. I'll do this last one. Uh, you're looking for the solution. It's already mapped out. So you just need to find the coordinates. We see that this is, let's count it. It's not negative one or negative two, but it is negative three in the X direction. For the Y direction, we're down here. So this is negative six, negative seven, negative eight. So our solution here is negative three for X, negative eight for Y. Capiche, sound good? If you have any questions, please reach out. Let me know if I can help, so I can help you be more successful for the test coming up. Talk soon.